Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I use on my skin and what I use on my hair. So it's not actually like a routine. It's just talking about my skincare and my hair care products that I use currently. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get things started. Oh, first things first though, don't forget if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what some of your favorite products are or any type of videos that you'd like to see in the future. Also, if you have not already, you need to hit that red subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification so you get notified when I post new videos. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so my skin is about combination. It's a little oily and it's a little like normal. So just like along right here in my T-zone, I get kind of oily from time to time. So what I do, I've talked about these in a video before, I just take these little Mary Kay, oops, wrong way, I just take these little Mary Kay wipes and you just open them up like this and you just take one out and you just blot it all over your face. Sometimes I do this twice a day just depending on if I'm gonna wear makeup or not, but I usually do it right when I wake up. And then what I also do with that, what I've been doing recently, is I have been using this Mario, Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. For starters, it smells obviously like roses, so it smells really, really good. And what that does to my skin is I haven't really noticed any changes just because I haven't been doing it for too long, but I thought I would go ahead and include it in this video anyway. I just kind of spray it all over my face and then I like fan it in and I let it soak into my skin. And what it really does to my skin is it just kind of like refreshes it and just kind of gives it like a more like awake look, especially since I do it usually in the morning right when I get out of bed. So I just kind of noticed that it makes my skin look a little more revived and awake, if you will. Um, so that is normally what I do when I wake up. Just depending on, you know, if I'm going to wear makeup or not, I will sometimes go back in with one of these before I put my makeup on just so I don't have, you know, oil and then makeup on top of that because that never really looks that cute. So that's normally what I do for my face when I wake up. And then... Now, no matter what, I just started doing this and I have noticed that it just really not only helps with breakouts, but it also just really helps to like get all of the dirt on off your face because knowing how many times you touch your face and where your fingers have been, like, you know, always wash your hands, obviously, but like just to really help get the dirt off your face, I have been toning my face with this Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. Now, the reason I got the alcohol-free one is because alcohol is horrible for your skin. I actually did not know this until recently when I was watching Jeffree Star, and he cannot stress enough how bad alcohol is for your skin. So, do not, I repeat, do not put, like, rubbing alcohol or anything with alcohol in it on your skin. Always read on the back if there, of the ingredients right here if there's alcohol in it, because if there is, you do not need to be using it, no matter what it is at all. So... I highly suggest getting this. It's really cheap at Walmart. This was like three bucks or something. And I just put it on a little round cotton pad and I just put it all over my face. I will just like put it on. I will just douse some on there and just rub it completely all the way on my, on my face, even down to my neck because you know, we wear foundation there too. So just pick some of this up. Any toner will work, but like I said, make sure it's alcohol free. It doesn't really smell the best, but I mean, it doesn't smell terrible, but it doesn't really have, like, the best scent ever. Um, I just, I really, really like this. I've used this every single day, and I still have quite a bit left, as you can see right there. So, I cannot stress this enough. Toning your face is essential in your skincare routine. If you're not doing it, you need to start, and I promise you will see results just like that. After I tone my face, normally I do that at night, um, especially if I wear makeup. Even if I don't wear makeup, I will go ahead and tell my face. But what I have been using recently is this Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with holo, with holochloric acid in it. I got this in a birch box, and I'm trying not to use it all, but it's actually really good, and a little bit will cover your whole entire face. So what this does, obviously, is, you know, it will just kind of moisturize your face, kind of revive it, make it look a little more, you know, hydrated and you know obviously moisturized <laughs> since that's what this is called um i may have to order a bigger one because this one is actually really really good um it smells it smells all right 
white. I mean, it looks like lotion when you put it on your hand. It's just a white cream, but I will just rub that all over my face after I tone it. And it's just, that's just kind of like my nightly skincare routine right now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, as far as morning skincare, it would be this and then this. So that are just, that's the skincare products I'm using for that right now. And then, now, when I take a shower, what I will do is, I've actually talked about this in the video too, I always use this when I take a shower. It's the, um, well, this is compared to the St. Ives um, Apricot Scrub. It smells so good. It smells like apricots, obviously. But this is just the Walmart brand, but the St. I mean, it's basically the same as the St. Ives. It's just a little bit cheaper. And I got this at Walmart, and this will last you a really long time. A little bit of this goes a really long way, so you don't need to, like, put a whole bunch on it. But just, you know, squirt it out, and then just, like, rub it all over your face and down to your neck, like I was saying earlier. And I really, really love it. It's um, sulfate and paraben-free, and it's also oil-free, which is good, because I have oily skin sometimes, like I was saying. So, um, I just really use it. I just really like this. You can use it up to three to four times a week, but you can use it, you know, anytime you want and as many times as you want. So who knows? I might start using this more, but it's also really good too if you want to try this. Like I said, I got it at Walmart. You can probably get it at Target, Walgreens, places like that. So if you want to try it, go check it out. It looks like this. I, of course, will link everything down below. I know I did not do that in my last video. I apologize, but I will do that in this video for you guys. All right, moving on to my hair. Okay, so as far as my shampoo goes, my hair is actually colored. I mean, this is my natural, like, color. Well, this kind of looks black, but my natural color is, like, light brown. But I do have to use color-treated shampoo, and I will go back and forth. Sometimes I use Herbal Essence, which is what I'm currently using, because I just had to get some more, because I ran out of my other kind that I was using. And I believe that one, um, sometimes I use Garnier Fructis, and then sometimes I use, ah, oh, dang it, I can't remember the name of it. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. But sometimes Garnier Fructis. Right now, I'm currently using Herbal Essence and Color Me Happy. Because, like I said, I have color-treated hair. This is, like, the really big bottle that's, like, five bucks at Walmart. They do have the conditioner, too. But I don't normally condition my hair just because my hair is oily. But I do get a dry scalp, which is really strange and really annoying. Especially when you have dark hair. Because you can see it, like, all the time. It's so gross. But, um, so if y'all know of any good shampoos that will get rid of, like, I know Head & Shoulders is good, but you can't really use it on color-treated hair. So comment down below if you know of any color-treated shampoo for a dry scalp. If you know of that, comment down below and let me know. Maybe I need to go to, like, Sally's or Ulta or something and look there. But if you know of one, comment down below. Thanks. But, yeah, so this is what I'm using right now. I don't normally condition my hair. I do sometimes, just depending on you know, my mood and or if I want to. From time to time, I will. I'm actually taking a shower later, so I may condition it and see what happens. Um, but normally, I don't. So this is currently the shampoo that I'm using. It smells so good. I don't really, I'm bad at explaining scents. Y'all know this, but yeah. So Herbal Essence Color Me Happy is what I'm using, but they have it for all hair tops at Walmart. So if you need a good shampoo, I really recommend this one for color treated hair. It's pink, it's cute. Okay, and then my favorite thing ever is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is my saving grace, my ride or die. If I was on a deserted island, I would take this with me for sure. It smells so good. I've talked about this in a video before. This is in the scent Bear for Clean and Light Hair. And I just love it. I actually just finished a can yesterday and I had this can on backup. I always have backup of this. It's $3 at Walmart. Actually, it's 5 for the big can and like 3 for the little bitty like travel size can. I don't know how I got hooked on dry shampoo or why I wasn't using it before, but I'm so thankful that I'm using it now because seriously, I don't wash my hair every day. And guys, it makes such a huge difference. I will just wake up in the morning, brush my hair, with just a, you know, a normal hairbrush, and then I will just spray this all along my hair, but make sure you shake it up, and make sure you hold it pretty far away from your head, because if not, you are going to get a white cast, and that's not cute, but if you do, just kind of, like, fluff it around like this with your hands, just kind of, like, tossle it around, and eventually it will, like, disintegrate within, like, a minute or so, so it smells good, it makes your hair look good, it makes your hair feel good, just everything about this product is 
good. Like, I love this so, so much. I don't know why I wasn't using dry shampoo before, but I'm so happy that I use it now. If you know of any other good dry shampoos, comment down below as well. But for now, I'm hooked on Batiste. I did just recently pick this one up, as y'all saw, in my birch box. I have not used this yet just because this is like my ride or die. But um, once I try this out, I will let y'all know what I think. It smells pretty good. It's the um, Arco Death Valley Dry Shampoo. So, I will let y'all know when I use this. But like I said, if you know of any more, comment down below. And then, for a texturizing spray, what I normally do is I normally let my hair dry by itself. Just because now that it's so short, it dries really fast. So, like, I'll just leave it up in a towel for like an hour or so. And then I'll take it out. I'll brush it and then I will just put texturizing spray in it and what I really feel like texturizing spray does is it just gives it a little more like oomph. it just gives your hair a little more body a little more volume just just a little more you know silkiness if you will to it this is actually the texturizing spray right here it's really in a cute bottle um I obviously haven't even used this yet but it's in this little can and um it is the scent C Buck Thornberry. It's called Undone Texture Spray by Amika. And I'm assuming, you know, you can just spritz it on there. Oh my gosh. This smells amazing. I have a feeling this is going to be like the Orbe spray and I'm going to get really addicted to this and I'm going to run out. So I'm going to try to not use this one as much just because I don't have a backup. But yeah, I apologize. This one is only for like a heat protectant. I mean, you could probably use it without it, but I would use this one in that in that case. If you know of any other good texturizing sprays, comment down below because I've been really into texturizing sprays lately. Um, so, thanks for your suggestions in advance. If you know of any other products that would fit into this video about the items I talked about. Um, so, with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know several of y'all kind of asked me before for a hair care skin skincare routine. And I'm sorry I didn't actually do the routine. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms. They will be linked on the end slide right here at the end of the video and down below in the description box as will everything that I mentioned. So I will see you guys next time. I love y'all a lot and I will see you soon. Bye guys.